Hey, Dustin. Hey, Thomas. We are back for another exciting episode. Welcome to the Late Late Show. I'm your host, TV's Craig Ferguson. You are no Craig Ferguson, sir. That's what Craig Ferguson says every time he starts the Late Show. Yeah, but you are not Craig Ferguson. Cheeky monkeys. Shenanigans. Craig Ferguson. I want to haul whatever they're hauling. Craig Fergus Ferguson's the best. You know, I can't really say I know too much about Fred Ferguson. Craig Ferguson. Fred I'm tired. Fred, you son of a bitch. Fred uh, Ferguson. Okay, I know you've seen How to Train Your Dragon because you have yeah, my, yeah, yeah. You have my fucking DVD. Of it. <laughs> God, that's been like a year. Yeah, dude, I think it's been more than a year. I am the best. You fucking asshole. I don't even know where that's at anymore. But uh, How to Train. Yeah, I know. I know you don't know where it is at anymore. <laughs> I know. <laughs> You're such a prick. See, see, I, I do, I do tests with people. I see if they're worthy of lending them things. I, I lend people money, like I lent you. I, 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 I you bought me Taco Bell. I bought you some Taco Bell, and I asked you beforehand, "Will you pay me back?" And I, you said yes. And did I? Like years later. So you know what? You failed the test. Dustin doesn't get lent Sir, any money. Sir, you did not mention anything about a time. You no, yes, mentioned, yes. Would you it pay me back? It was a test to see if you would be on your own a reasonable human being. You can't be lent money. Sir, and then that was a poor test. And then I tried lending you physical objects. I start <laughs> with a thing I don't You care didn't learn about. your lesson from money? You didn't learn your money you didn't learn the lesson from money? So you went to physical things. <laughs> I think it was still soon enough. No, and... Thomas, you're giving me crap, but obviously you have a learning disability. <laughs> I think it, when I lent you the DVD, it was still close to the, it, the test for the t for the Taco Bell was still ongoing. <laughs> but so you failed the physical things lending too. You know what? Be thankful it was minor things. That Jack no, no, still no, no, no. It's not that I need to be thankful because you would have taken real things if I had offered them. But this is how I operate with everyone. Everyone gets small things first, and if I can trust them with that. We move on to bigger things. What would have been the biggest thing you would have lent me? I don't know. Yeah. I mean, I don't really like offer things to lend to people. It's what people ask to, because like you asked to see fucking How to Train Your Dragon, and, it was and I an said, awesome "Okay, movie, Dustin." And I was very happy to watch that. Yes. Because I'm a nice friend. And then you stole my DVD. I didn't steal it. I lost it. I misplaced it. <laughs> but anyway, the um, the like comic relief character with the stone for a tooth. I forget the name of him. I know who you're talking about. Like with like the hey, I've got a hook hand, a peg leg. And yeah. Like thirty percent of me is artificial now. Yeah, that's Craig Ferguson. Yeah. Um, and Andy was on the Drew Carey show. Andy's the host. Ooh, who was he on the Drew Carey show? The English guy, like his boss or something. Oh, yeah, yeah. And he's Scottish, so that's... That's funny. That's humorous. That's <laughs> smart humor. Well, no, it's, that's like Sean Connery playing a Russian sub-commander in The Hunt for Red October. It's just stupid. Sir, that was genius. I dare you to criticize that again. I'm not criticizing it, I'm just saying... You said it was stupid. Well, yeah, but That like, was a criticism. Awesome stupid. <laughs> no, don't get me wrong. Sean Connery playing a Russian sub-commander is awesome. You know, I never saw that movie. It's it's so good. It's fantastic. And like, I've heard people like, hey, you really should watch it. But I've never been motivated to actually do it. So fucking good. I love and I'm movie. a guy who worked at a video store. So good. Like, I spent... God, how many... Like, two years? Two years working at a video store? Back when video stores were relevant? Yeah, never watched it. You know what I did watch, though? What? So much porn. <laughs> I was just about to ask about that. Oh my god. So our time to porn in this episode. Yeah, that was like, what, <laughs> four minutes? Yeah. Dude, it was the best. So I was 16, had dial-up, so I mean, you really couldn't get good yeah, reliable porn. Yeah, that's good, yeah. And all of a sudden, here, welcome to a video store. Awesome, what's back there? Oh, that's our adult room. You're not allowed back there since you're underage. Immediately I'm going, one day you will let your guard down. <laughs> you will make the folly of leaving me alone, and it will be mine. <laughs> like, the first two weeks, never went back there, and I sat there like, oh, staring at the video camera. But it was so far away, I really couldn't make out. <laughs> the 
I hit something. <laughs> Maybe it was a person. I think there was a car trying to make a turn. <laughs> and you pulled out in front of them. <laughs> and they just drove into your side. I, and I just kept happen. rolling. <laughs> but yeah, for like two weeks, I'm looking at this little tiny black and white camera. Like, I can't make out any titles. Come on, truck, you have no power uphill. <laughs> and then one day, I was hanging out with one of my super, like, managers at the time. Or, and they're like, here, go ahead and put them up. Are you sure? Yeah, you can do it. I don't give a damn. And it was like a golden moment. <laughs> like, I'm sitting there with these four boxes of, I don't even, I, at the moment, I really shouldn't have been clutching them to my chest like some <laughs> lost treasure. I didn't know any better. Yeah, you, you really probably should not clutch those to any part of your body. Yeah. So I open the door. I go back. Oh my God, by the way, porn rooms have funny smells. <laughs> and I figured out what it was. Like originally, you're like, this is a dirty room. Obviously dirty things are back here and that's what that smell is. It's not that at all. It's all the boxes the porn comes in. The boxes that they come in have this weird smell to them. Huh. And I, I don't know what it is. Maybe because the rest of the movies kind of have like a big open air. Maybe it's the company that prints them. They just have a funny smell. I figured it out one day when I had to like label a box of porn back when I was 18. Open it up. <sighs> Shut up, Bubba Craig. I know you're bored. But um We can turn off fatigue. Nah, I like like I like yeah, almost like I, blacking I, out. I like sometimes. the I like the mechanic, but I, Fuck the yawning. Shut up. Yeah, but the smell, it's just the boxes. But oh man, when I went back there, so much. And I didn't know that much about porn. Like I knew men and woman. That's kind of it. Uh, oh, I knew woman and woman existed. Well, yeah, because the way I discovered porn was on dial-up, like, 12, and my parents left the house. And then I think it was as simple as go to search engine and be like, boobs. Because <laughs> I didn't know what the fuck I was doing. Dude, my dial-up was so crappy and the computer was in the kitchen. Yeah. So you really couldn't get away with, like, trying anything. Well, like I'm saying, parents leave the house, fucking boobs. Yeah. Well, this was just so much better. And I was exposed to so much so rapidly in that one sweep. It took me like 20 minutes to find where to place those four movies. I swear to God, the porn room couldn't have been any bigger than a cubicle. Man, Dustin's back there for a while trying to figure <sighs> out where those movies are. Oh, God. Next thing you know, there it is. I'm like, oh, they do do girl on... You passed me. Oh, my God. I'm upset about that. There's girl on girl. Oh, that's cool. Uh-oh. What's this? This is... This is guy on guy. <laughs> I'm, uh... I'm uncomfortable having found that. I didn't need to. And I was, like, still kind of weird about seeing anybody else's dick. So, like, I was already kind of sheepish about what I was looking at. At next... 18? No, no, 16. 16 still, man. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> man, see, I'm, I'm like a little bit younger than you, but that was just enough to be desensitized by internet porn. I, I didn't get uh, desensitized by internet porn at that point. Again, didn't, didn't have as much opportunity. But then it got really weird and I saw the tranny porn and I'm like, wait a minute. Wait a minute. That's a... What is that? Is that a strap-on? <laughs> I'm looking at the back, and I'm like, it's not a strap-on. Wait a minute. It kept happening that wait-a-minute moment as it kind of more became a little clearer each time. I think if I kept saying wait a minute, it would eventually become this clear picture where I would get it. No, that didn't happen until after I left the room and asked about it. <laughs> so I was with one of my female co-workers, and I'm like, what, what's, what, what was that porn? I think it was by the balls. What, what's... <laughs> What, what was going on there? So it sounds like you're interested in it. Well, I didn't know what it was. Like, I was man, confused. That looks like some good stuff. No, it wasn't what looks like good stuff. I it was a what the hell. This I, is different. This is really confusing. But I know what you, a man is. When you come out and that's what you're asking about. Well, it, it was, I knew what a man was. I knew what a woman was. This was something in between. And I was a little weirded out. It was something new. Yeah. And like Inquisition inqu inquiries were coming up in my head. And again, didn't really have a good way of not making it look like I was super into tranny porn. <laughs> so I think she probably thought I was for a little while. Oh no, 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 you passed. Damn it. <laughs> we're already having engine troubles. Yeah, 
I just went on the internet and I was like, oh man, there's pictures of naked ladies on here. That's awesome. And I was like, oh man, there's pictures of naked ladies making out with each other. Hot. And and then there was pictures of dudes with ladies, and I was like, no thanks. But yeah, in, in when you're when you're twelve, thirteen, going through like nineteen ninety nine internet looking for lesbian pictures, all the fucking you learn all sorts of porn that's out there. Like, Actually, I porn confused me at twelve. Yeah, I was um didn't didn't know jack and shit about it. But my dad had a pretty good collection, and my little brother found it at 10. So uh, one day he left the house, and my brother comes in. He's like, hey, I got this movie we should watch. Oh, that's weird. Yeah. Well, he pops it in, and I'm like, oh, my God, what is this? He's like, dude, it's cool. It's got naked ladies. <laughs> and the first thing I see is two dudes stripping down in front of a fully clothed lady. <laughs> and I'm like, this is really awkward, and I'm like shying away. He's like, you get used to it. Hindsight, you get used to it. About seeing two naked dudes, and I'm not talking flash, I'm talking fully engorged. They were rocking and rolling. Again, also my first porn watching experience with my little brother. That was new level. Oh, crap. Hey, I didn't hit anybody. But the worst part that confused me, I thought women had three holes naturally to have sex with. Like, I didn't distinguish that there was a thing as anal. They just bend over, and whoever these girls were, they were prepped for anal. Because the guy didn't even, like, work it. Just bam, it was in. So I got confused. What little bit of knowledge I had on sex was that there's one hole, and you go for that. No, porn showed me there was two, and I didn't know which one was which. I did not know the difference between fucking a butthole or a vagina at first. That's really weird. I know. I would have, you thought I would have figured that out, but I think I was thinking way too much into it. See, this is the value of internet pictures. I got... I learned more later. I got clear, clear evidence of what was going on down there. I just saw what happens when two guys are on an airplane the stewardess says, I need some help back here. Well, also, I, I was listening to Loveline when I was a kid. So, Dude, I used to love that show. Well, then how would you not know that, like... Because I didn't listen to Love Line until I was 16. Oh, okay. At 12? Who yeah, no, Love Line? I, was, I was listening to Love Line in middle school. Okay, I wasn't. Maybe you were just trying to mature faster than you were ready. What? I don't know. I just want to make myself feel better about not knowing <laughs> what the difference between a butthole and a vagina at first. <laughs> oh, so you can just kind of stick it anywhere on a woman. Well, that's that's good to know. I got in trouble in middle school for having porn on my laptop because we had school laptops. Mm -hmm. uh, cause what had happened is, cause see, like yeah, there's the family computer, uh, and that's hard, that's difficult to use for porn use, cause it's the family computer. Yeah. But when you have a school that's giving you a laptop, dude, that was so awesome. They started that shit right when I got in high school. Yeah, I, I had it in middle school, and now there's now you have a computer that you can have, like, in your room with you. Mm-hmm. So I was like, I, I need, I'm putting porn on this thing. And so then, much porn. Then I can watch porn anywhere. <laughs> so I would download it on the family computer and then put it onto the, the school laptop, and I was like, if I, whenever I need to return it, I can just delete it. Yeah. And then the screen broke. Uh oh. <laughs> so I was like, I have porn on here. It's still on there. And I can't see it. I can't see it to get it off. So I was like, well, there's nothing I can do. <laughs> I just turned it in. And then one day in class, uh, the assistant principal is like, I need to talk to Thomas. So he pulls me out of the class. And then we go to his office. And he sits me down. He's like, do you want to tell me about what, anything that's on your computer? And I was like, maybe eighth grade? Mm -hmm. And I was like, no, because <laughs> whatever there is, you already know about it. Uh, and then he proceeded to sit there and I don't even really remember what he said. 
because the sit what was happening was so awkward we were like right next to the door out into the hallway yeah that you were worried about other people hearing it no I was not worried about other people hearing it he was sitting there playing the videos he was playing the videos and they were pretty loud and the door was just open <laughs> so like playing the videos and watching them with you and be like see well, you see this this I is would, what shouldn't be on your computer I was on the opposite side of the desk so he's just watching porn in front of you <laughs> while lecturing you yes and then he started telling me dude that kind of sounds badass <laughs> Like, that just shows the level of disregard he has for you. Uh, no, you're not important enough for me to distract myself away from the porn. You're going to be lectured while this goes on in the background. I think that's inappropriate as hell. Well, yeah, but and it's kind of like, wow. And he was, he, was, he was doing the middle school sleuth thing. He was theorizing to me that he had uncovered a conspiracy of porn because he was saying someone else they had busted had had the same stuff. So we'd probably shared it. Now that made me really angry, because fuck no, I am not sharing any of my porn with a dude. <laughs> no, no, I don't want, no. I will vaguely talk about stuff. Like I will say, hey man, here's this name of this porn star. Here's the name of this porn studio. They do really good stuff. But I will not give you any files at all. Maybe I'll give you a porn title name. That's Thomas's porn. Only he gets to watch Dude, it. No, that's weird. Like, the data that I... Like, the, the file that I have jerked off to, mm. I am not going to give to you. That's weird. I don't know. I've, been, I've openly shared porn with other people. No. I know dudes do it. No. Yeah. I mean, why no. not? No. No. That's weird. How much fuel do I have? That's way too intimate with a dude. Should I get more fuel? Sure. Like, do I you, need it? You could use a little bit. Okay. Yeah, I don't have my glasses this time, so it's kind of like, oh crap, I can't read my fuel gauges. That's way too intimate. Well, I mean, it's not like I share it with him and watch it together and no, we're kind of doing a circle here. No, just that I know that he's seen it. Engine malfunction. Yeah, no, I fucked it up again. <laughs> Man, that... That whole middle school experience was weird. I what had to get fined for. Avoid sleeping offense. <laughs> wow, I'm getting charged for not sleeping. Yeah, because that's dangerous. But how do they know I'm tired? Um, I, no, no, I get I get that it's a game that knows I'm tired, but what no, secret no, no, police no. force is out no, here? I, no, they probably have company regulations that, uh, like, that was probably a fine from the company. Or may well, you never really get pulled over for like speeding or anything it just finds you yeah so maybe this is the same as maybe you were swerving a little bit cop pulls you over finds out you're not sleeping enough okay well that would actually encourage but, me to go find sleep then which well, but speaking of we need to find a rest stop the company also uh i guarantee the um the trucking company has regulations about that stuff so they, oh, i'm sure they do they may also like dock your pay <sighs> I, stuff. I just feel like when you hit a vehicle, the other person reports you. Sure, I believe that I got a fine for that. We're just going to keep losing 150 euros until you sleep. God damn, how do, I got to find somewhere to sleep. Don't I? Um, let's see. Oh, God. I don't know what I hit. No, nah, don't touch any more buttons. Yeah, let's not touch that again. I'm scared. Um, next rest stop in zero minutes. Maybe... It, you're right on top of it? Oh my god, I didn't hit it. Or maybe there's no rest stops between here and your destination. Crud. Yeah, that probably means I'm almost done. Still delivering the Digger 1000. Dude, awesome name. Oh, I can't really see it. But awesome name for awesome equipment. But so I had a band teacher in middle school that told a chick... I mean, a little girl, basically that she was going to be a stripper if she when she grew up. Damn. That, dude, I was laughing at the time, but that was fucked up. It's pretty harsh. Like, what, what was she doing? Uh, dude, not anything to warrant that. That was just fucked up. And it's one of these things that, like, man, like, I'm only 24, but it's like, god damn it, I can now remember a time when something was, like, 
just what 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 teachers could say to students in schools mm -hmm. like a like a decade ago <sighs> you could get away with so much more if dude had said that now he would be in the news oh i thought you got in trouble for it like the way you were telling me. No, no, no. I, no, I'm saying... He, he got away with the Scott free. No, I'm saying I was just sitting there in band class and he told a chick that she was going to be a stripper. Damn. That, that was it. It's just wait, I wait, was you there. You were in band class? What did you play? I played tenor saxophone. Do you still know how to play saxophone? I mean, I maybe remember some, like, what the finger positions for some notes are, but... Ah, uh, so you never kept up with it? No. Like, that'd be kind of one never, of those... I never really was that into it. In fact, I... Th Oh crap! <laughs> oh shit! <laughs> that is awesome! <laughs> Holy fuck! This game is the best! Dustin just fell asleep, everybody. Yeah, it's not my fault. Or Bubba Craig just fell asleep. Yeah, Bubba Craig. Bubba Craig's a terrifying person to ride with. <laughs> well, we're riding with him. And it is pretty terrifying. <laughs> oh no, like. We had a teacher one time in our class. This is back in middle school. I was fucked! We're going back to it. What? I don't know. That's what the sign said. Say it again. I was fucked! I can make you say that. That's fun. Anyway, what are you talking about? Teacher in middle school. And I don't know if he was a teacher. Maybe he was like a supervisor uh, or something like that. Anyway, guy was in a wheelchair. <sighs> uh, paraplegic. Like, had his legs, but pretty much useless from the waist down. He was a kid. <laughs> I like that description. <laughs> oh, shit. Wake up, Bubba Craig! We're hitting stuff. Oh, I see. You're useless from the waist down. Yeah. But um, he told a girl in class, or, or allegedly, allegedly told, or was accused of. I don't know what happened to him, but I never saw him again. Wait, did you, did you witness this? No, or? I didn't witness this. Okay. I heard he disappeared, and this is what I had gathered is he told a young girl that her man can't love her like he can. Wow. And poof. <laughs> Gone. Man. Oh, there's a rest. Well, you're about done anyway, so it doesn't matter. Yeah, delivery's um, right here. Going for it. Please don't black out again, Bubba Craig. The end is near. Man, I got suspended for having porn on my laptop. So, like, I got to jerk off to porn on a laptop that the government provided for me and made it easier for me to watch porn. And then I got two days off of school <laughs> for doing it. It was awesome. You, you want to know something funny, Thomas? What? You're not the only one. Yeah. I got suspended for porn, too. Yeah. But coming from me, it's not surprising. You, I'm like a little taken back. I, Why? I, boom. Uh, dude, I'm probably way more into porn than you are. That might be. How much porn do you have? Um, well, I live on... I still have fucking dial-up in my shitty, shitty right. place because it won't run cable lines. Shut up. But if I could have awesome... No, but the point is you haven't. Like, wh when I when I first lived by myself, I made sure I got fucking cable internet so I could download all the porn I wanted. Was that the primary reason? Pretty much. Um, and, <sighs> like, I'm on DSL right now, and that was a fucking... That was hard to do, because I was giving up my porn. But... Yeah. Was it the same thing, like, having it on the laptop? Yeah. Except I didn't break my screen. Yeah, you were just dumb. No, I got ratted out. Oh. How did that happen? Let's just say a guy I was sharing it with got caught, and in turn he decided to drag me down with him. Wow, that little fucker. Yep. I'm guessing maybe the teacher thought he... Found a porn ring himself. I never got the details about it. It was just one day. And I mean, this guy exploded into class looking for me. He had no idea who the fuck I was, but he had a name, and that was enough. I mean, it was like police hunting down. I need Dustin. I need Dustin right now. I need Dustin. Well, yeah, because he because he has to catch he has to catch you immediately 
Before I clean the evidence. Yeah. <laughs> before you scrub that shit. Before you flush it down the toilet. <laughs> before I just slam the laptop on the ground and smash the motherboard. And then Ray Liotta comes in and yells at you. <laughs> Dude, this thing is so big. It's... Dude, between this engine malfunction and you blacking out, we're never gonna get in there. Dude, this fucking thing is so huge. It's Yeah. Great. <laughs> Wake up, Bubble Craig! <laughs> I like how I can do that. I can yell at him now. Man, I think that was the only the only time I got in trouble in school. Um, I got suspended for a day for fighting. Yeah. But that's the crap part. I Dude, didn't even really fight. The only fight I ever witnessed in high school was two white kids slapping each other in the face. I was like, God damn it. Why couldn't it have been black chicks? Oh, those go good. Yeah, but it was just it was just two white white dudes and it's like slap. Oh and slap. It's like really? This is what I get to see. What am I stuck on? I don't know. I uh, check check. Oh, I guess you can't lean out the other side. I think yeah, I'm gonna detach this and see if I can get away. <laughs> it worked. Digger one thousand. Don't you dare fall asleep in the middle of the break. He's done it like five times already. Man, whatever I'm grinding against is that's what's killing me. Because nothing will happen while I'm turning the wheel. Then all of a sudden I get past that. Oh, the whole thing just jackknives. And apparently, Bubba Craig is holding down the gas when he passes out. <laughs> no, the engine can't malfunction when he passes out, but once he wakes up... Man. But, now the fight I was in, it wasn't even a fight. The kid just jumped on my back and I threw him off me. But, of course, the teacher didn't show up until there was a kid laying on the floor and me standing over him. Yeah. So it's like, uh-oh, you both did something bad. Go home for a day. And think about what you did. That's the thing. That's not even really a punishment anymore. What kid doesn't want to go home when they get, you know, Yeah, that's school? what I'm saying. Like, when I got suspended for two days because of porn, it just pissed my mom off because she's like, you're not teaching him anything. You're not punishing him in any way. And I was like, yep, this is the best. <laughs> and it certainly didn't stop me from putting porn on my laptop. I'm sure. I was like, yeah, the screen's not going to break again, so. <laughs> How'd the screen break in the first place, anyway? Don't know. Don't care. I have no idea. Like, it just broke. Yeah, don't know, don't I mean, care. It, like, when you put, like, a fucking laptop in, like, a backpack and stuff, like, there's wear and tear, there's potential for stuff to break. God damn, just accept the Digger 1000 like this. But well, Craig, you've got to stop falling asleep, man. Man, one time I was in, like, a study hall or something in high school, mm -hmm. and, uh, there was this kid just on his laptop and then some dude that I recognized as working in the um, like the help desk for computer shit yeah like they had they had a like area where you would take your computer if shit was wrong with it and I recognized this dude from that area and uh, he just walks in and picks up the guy's laptop and uh, the kid goes uh, can, can, can I talk to you? Can, can I talk to you? And he's like, he just looks at him with the most just disdain I've ever seen. And he just goes, no. And walks out. Huh. Come to find out, kid had been, had been looking at lesbian porn sites at, like, in that study hall. And they had monitoring software. So they, they had flipped onto yeah. his computer and then just... <laughs> Dude's looking at porn. And I knew they have monitoring software. You can actually see, like, on ours, you can see, like, a symbol when somebody else is observing what you were doing or, like, connected to your laptop. I don't think you could tell. On ours, ours, you could. Like, this is back when they first did it in our high school. Yeah. Reasonable. The best part was uh, when they tried doing it to our laptops, um, I was in class, and they are like, oh, hey, we're going to give you something more to your laptop i.e., hey, we're going to give you some better monitoring software and try to block you from doing more stuff. 
Yeah. So you need to download this and your laptop's going to reset and your screen will change from blue to pink when it's done. Well, they made sure to watch and make sure we all were, uh, you know, putting the shit in. Holy shit, this fragile cargo? Yeah. What is this? Just in time delivery. Elaborate on this. Sometimes companies need to deliver something important quickly, so they call for a just in time job. Such work puts more stress on the driver, the delivery window is tighter, but the compensation eases your level of discomfort. A new rank in this skill will result in rank 1, important deliveries unlocked, plus 3% higher reward for finishing an important delivery, plus 20% experience bonus for finishing an important delivery. Nice. Uh, it looks like the higher the rank goes, like the more urgent jobs. And what's this one? Improved eco driving skill will help you minimize your fuel consumption. Particularly, rank one, up to 10% of fuel saved when driving with trailer, up to 10% of fuel saved when driving free. I am not concerned with my gas. Yeah. Especially since I don't think we pay for it. Not yet. Like, I think the employer might pay for it. High value. But, so, were you a nerd in school? Oh, of course I was, dude. Did you get picked on? Um, no, because I was really good at hiding it. Like, do you, okay, but like, did you feel picked on? I guess is what I I felt was. ostracized a lot. Yeah. But I think everybody kind of feels that way in high school. Well, high school is fucking vicious, man. But I don't think, I don't know. I don't really think so. Like, like the, especially this modern thing of like, uh, bullying and like, the perception that anybody who's a nerd, at least some time ago, was subject to an incredible amount of bullying. Mm. I never saw or experienced this. Yeah, I never saw it at my school either. Like, I think, I think that stuff has been highly exaggerated. Well, I mean, you start getting these suicides associated with it. Well, yeah, but this, this, it's just the callousness of, of basically the liberal media where, like, these kids commit suicide because they were depressed. Yeah, there was obviously more underlying reasons than this guy picked on me at school. Yeah, but this country has to make them, like, they have to be a victim of someone. There has to be someone we can go after because of this. Well, this truck is fancy. Yeah, dude. Can't wait to see it in the day. <laughs> but, like, I never... I never really saw anybody get bullied that... I never really saw bullying at all. Uh, maybe a couple times, but... Like, it was from people that were pricks, and like... It, like... Crap, I can't remember which lane I'm supposed to be in. Where am I? I'm gonna say you should be in the right lane. Then we're gonna go for the right lane. I'm probably wrong, but... We'll find out. Oh no, stoplight. Continue, please. But, like, I was into a bunch of nerdy crap, and, like, I didn't... Like, dude, when I was in high school, I wrote, uh... I wrote Halo fan fiction. <laughs> I was that kind of kid. Um... And, like, sometimes you get picked on, but... Like, whatever, that happens to everybody. Dude, that happens when you're with friends. Yeah. Dude, no, the friends I had in high school, like, they were not friends. Those were motherfuckers. <laughs> like, I would not put up with that shit as an adult. Um, but you're a kid. You, what the fuck do you know? Yeah. And, like... This is what I'm saying. It, like, it's not like by being a certain way, you get, like, mercilessly destroyed. It's not like there's this cabal of high school kids that <clears throat> crush everyone else. Mm -hmm. Like, high school is just shitty. Like, kids are mean. But, like, football players and stuff, like the perceived bullies, those, in my experience, were always the nicest people. The most well-adjusted people. Yeah, I never had any problem with them. But then again, I mean, if you're kind of on a really high-ranking sports team like that, or a big deal sports team, I mean, life's pretty good for you, probably. Yeah. So why do you have any real reason to be a douche to anyone else? Yeah. Yeah, they... I mean, I... I've talked to a few of them back when I was in high school, and, I mean, for the most part, none of them had any problems or hang-ups about me. I mean, sure, there were some that were kind of a little bit of a douchebag, but the overall general consensus was they're just people. Yeah. 
No, they're, they're not mean. They're 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 trying to be nice. They're actually not being douchebags. Yeah, the coolest, nicest people I ever hang out with, hung out with in high school, oh, were uh, horn. were were football players. See, I never hung out with them. Yeah, no, I, I I hung out with them. There was a there was a dude that I sat next to fucking every day in German class, and I had that class for like four years, and fucking got along with him really well. In fact, he came into my he came into the store I work work at like a couple months ago and he was like you know I, let, let me get your number so we can like talk like have coffee or something I was like yeah totally I'm gonna get your number two and then <laughs> totally didn't <laughs> <laughs> uh, so yeah like did you did you feel weird like seeing somebody from your high school at your job no not really if what I didn't like it did it didn't it didn't make me feel weird, but it was weird in that uh, he was... Now, again, this is a couple months ago. Mm -hmm. But he was, uh, you know, just doing the questions like, what's going on and everything. And for some reason, I'm talking about having a girlfriend or whatever. And he goes, oh. And he says a name, which was the name of my high school girlfriend. Ooh. He's like, you're still with her? And I'm like, <laughs> I just laughed at his face because it, <laughs> it took me by surprise. I'm like, no. <laughs> No, I, like, I've not talked to that person since junior year of high school. No. Uh, I, I don't I don't know how, like, that seems so long ago. I don't know how anybody could even think that that stuff would carry on. But he's also, like, super Christian. Mm -hmm. So maybe he knows people that have done stuff like that. Well, I think it might have just been that's the last thing he knew of you. No, certainly there there is some of that, too. Yeah, but, I mean, but, I don't necessarily assume that... But it, it, oh, no, God, don't flip it again. It has to be more than that, though, because I... I at least from my perspective, I would never assume that anything I know about someone from high school would continue to be true. I don't assume it, but I will ask. I will not ask if they are still with their high school girlfriend. Well, when they bring up a girlfriend, I'll ask if it's the same one. Uh, nope. I don't know why you would do that. I, uh, especially it, it's since... the last thing I knew. I was like, oh, no. could that possibly be... Why would you do... No, well, why? that also depends on how recent it is, too. Okay, it's been six years since I've been in high school. Yeah, I'd probably still ask. What the fuck is wrong with you people? <laughs> <laughs> well, apparently we're the majority, two to one, sir. No What's wrong way. With you? No way, man. You don't want to live in the past like the rest of us? I don't ever. Dude, by the way, fuck anyone who glorifies how awesome high school is. Yeah. Who does that, though? Um, older generation, my mom did. Like, I, I feel bad because I just. what I said previously and then included my mom in that category. <laughs> But, um, no, I mean, I'm, I'm thinking about it. It's like, high school wasn't all that awesome. Those were not the best years of my life by any extent. No, certainly not. No, when I got out of high school, oh my God, did things get so much better. It was still pretty good, though. Or at least the last two years for me. Like, I was fucking majorly depressed from, like, 13 to 17. So, that was awful. But, well, see, the thing is, like, being that age was awful. Mm -hmm. But high school itself, great. It wasn't all that great for me. Like, it wasn't bad. But... I mean, living in your parents' house, having everything paid for, getting to just hang out with people. Like, what's not cool about that? Well, I live way the fuck out in the middle of nowhere. I still live out way out in the middle of nowhere. Yeah. So, hanging out with people, I had to hang out with them at school. And that was a, no, that this was a is nice what part. what I'm saying. That is what school is. Is you don't have to worry about shit. And especially if you were like me. Like, I never did fucking homework. I never gave a fuck. I listened to headphones in school. Like... And I just fucking aced the tests, which got me through everything. So, I just showed up, didn't give a fuck, and hung out with people. Well, maybe my high school was a bit more stressful. I was uh, doing a part-time job while going to a specialty center and riding two hours with the school buses every day. See, like, that sounds awesome to me. I wish I could ride... <clears throat> when I, I wish I rode two hours with the school buses well, when I was a kid. That's the thing. I mean, the, the two hours of school buses was nice. Cause, but with a part-time job, I never had time to do projects and homework and stuff. And I took classes I, that, like, I had projects a were a massive part of your grade. I had to do them. No, see? You would no, fail no, if you didn't do projects. No, I, I, had, I had a government teacher that sat, sat there and told me, told the whole fucking class, if you don't do my end-of-the-year project, you will fail. And I was like, bitch, watch me. <laughs> Never fucking did it. <laughs> fucking got out of class fine. Like, what was your grade point average without the No uh, idea. Project? I have no idea. Then again, it doesn't really matter. No, it doesn't. Well, regardless, because of the job I had, all my homework was done on the buses. 
And it was kind of fun because I had to time like the potholes from the usual route and the speed bumps with yeah. like pencil marks. Because the first couple <laughs> of weeks, oh god, I felt bad for any like English assignment I had because it was my teacher trying to read it, and you could tell obviously where it's like normal, 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 and all of a sudden that S took a really <laughs> sharp curve up. Normal, normal, normal. What the fuck is that? Is that an N, an M, or a Z? What was he trying to accomplish there? Well, Z, I think I think I had a better high school experience than most people because I had I knew when I was in high school that this shit did not fucking matter. I you didn't. Know? I was up with the impression that high school was very important towards yeah. your future and career. Yeah, because I could see everyone else buying into this lie that they were told by fucking adults that this is so important. I was like, nope. I, especially since I did not have parents that would pay for me to go to college mm. like how I wanted. Uh, which I didn't really want to go to college at all anyway. Like, if it was free, maybe I would have done it. But I was not going to work to go to college. Um, I did. I tried. I got I got in, too. Um, with funding from uh, parentals. Yeah. With under these strict circumstances that what you're doing needs to, you know, you need to maintain X amount of grades and blah, 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 and we'll keep funding you. And I was like, oh, boy. So I really tried. I, I tried hard. I was not ready for the social pressure of fucking high, uh, college, dude. It was the worst. Like, I, I don't have the personality I have now. Nobody does. Or maybe some people do. I had a hard time talking with people. Had the worst time making new friends. I, I was terrified to even introduce myself to people. Yeah. And here I am. Not, it's not high school where everyone just kind of on, feels like they're on an equal level. No, high, college did not feel like people were on an equal level. And there were so many people, I'm talking to the college in the city, thrust into this mass of people, and I had nothing to say. I was scared to say anything. My grades suffered a bit for that because I had a lot of group projects, and I had trouble just approaching people for a group, and I was a complete misanthrope. I, I was not the kind of person you wanted to talk to. Here's some like shaky, trench coat wearing, long haired, pimply faced guy, <laughs> rolling up and be like, hey, I'm... I'm Dustin, and um, I, I need people to work with, I it stuttered so bad. Well, that didn't fucking matter in the end because my pops left and with him went all the fucking income. <laughs> so all my effort to try to stay into college for that promise that it would be paid for blew up in my face. It's all a lie. See, I don't feel like I've, ch I, like, I'm sure this isn't true, but I don't feel like I've changed that much since high school. Like, cause in high school, I like, I just wore jeans and band t-shirts and especially in the later years, had long hair, listened to metal, didn't give a fuck. Mm -hmm. Like kind of this, the same person. <laughs> um, maybe a lot angrier, but you know, hormones and shit. Super angsty. Well, You're also, still angsty. Well, but also, like, I was living at, you know, like all kids, I'm living with my parents. And, mm -hmm. like, I would be pissed now if I was living with my parents. You know? Just because that feels shitty. I, you know, I always say living with my parents, but it only ever means my mom. Like, past 13, there is no parents. Like, it's just one parent or the other parent. I don't know why I do that. Well, were your parents together, or...? They were together up until 13. Okay, okay. But I still say live with my parents. When I was 17, live with my mom. Not many, did you go back and forth between them any? No. You just stay with your mom? Yes. Okay. But I still say live with my parents. Familiarity? I don't know. <laughs> you love your mom. Ew. You love your parents. I'm alright with my mom. <laughs> She's pretty cool. I'll agree with that. I don't, like, never met your mom, but I mean, like, I agree that my mom's awesome. Except when she tells me that high school was awesome. High school <laughs> was not fucking awesome. High school was mediocre, and I did not have good social skills except for, like, the fucking complete social outcast. Which was weird, because they looked at me like I was super cool, and that made me feel super cool. And then I met people who were normal or were cool, and it's like, uh-oh, I'm losing my title and my crown. I gotta go back to the people who have no social skills. Yeah. I was the king of the worms. You know what? I'm pretty good at hiding what's wrong with me. So, like, I'm sure I'm a lot different from when I was in high school, but I think I'm pretty good at hiding 
the parts I know are bad about me. Mm-hmm. So I think maybe it's harder to tell what... You know what I'm saying? What are the parts that are bad about you, though? Um... I don't know, man. That's a weird question. Ooh, speaking of, did we get any questions? We got a whole bunch of spam questions. Because I just used fucking Tumblr for our website. <laughs> well, because I, I, do, I got a domain for a dollar. Yeah. So I was like, <clears throat> all right, we have a domain name. And on Tumblr, for free, you can just use your own domain name. So, bam, I just used a Tumblr blog. What were some of the worst ones we got? Well, it was just because on fucking Tumblr, like, there's just spam bots that send spam questions. So maybe somebody sent in a very generic um, question that looks like a spam question, but I think they were all spam questions. Like, we're talking, one of them was like, why is it always people are disenfranchised or dis disgruntled? What about gruntled employees? Like, that's not a real question. That's just a spam. That's, that's just, someone being a jackass. Yeah, it's just a spam question. It's just something a bot fires at everybody's ask thing. Mm -hmm. So. Thomas, we gotta weed through and find the good ones. Somebody left us a for realsies question in there. I know it. There's not really a weird weed through, dude. Like, we're getting nothing. (laughs) (laughs) So it's not weed through. All right, Dustin. What's up? I think it's time to pull over. Ah. Wait, I can't do that. That's an exit. If I pull over on the exit, I'll never be able to turn around. Dude, it feels like we've driven at night this entire episode. We have. What the I hell? I think dawn is finally starting to break, but... Holy crap, it is. Thomas, soon the light will be upon us. <laughs> the darkness will no longer surround our vehicle. There we go. Turned her off. Well, I guess that's it for this episode of FTRT.